नमस्ते ए हार्टी वेलकम फॉर वीडियो नंबर थ्री इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस इंटरसेप्ट थीरम अनदर वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग इंपॉर्टेंट थीरम इन सेकेंडरी स्कूल मैथमेटिक्स ओके so let let us look at the uh, the statement if three or more parallel straight lines if three or more parallel straight lines are cut by a transversal and if the intercepts made by one transversal are equal then the intercepts made by any other transversal are also equal i think this you must have observed uh, if you look uh, the windows in our houses in the classrooms i think you can easily understand and explain this to our uh, students so let's go to the uh, figure part now so here are uh three minimum three lines we have to take a b c d and e f and these three lines are all parallel to each other so arrow mark indicates that they are parallel so the data e is uh, a b is parallel to c d and c d is parallel to e f so these are the three parallel lines minimum we have to take three maximum is any number of parallel lines can be taken now here is a transversal gh okay this is the transversal gh cutting a b c d and a b c d and e f at k l and m respectively okay now look at this segment k l and l m the distance from k to l and l to m they are called the intercepts and here in this figure the intercept kl is equal to the intercept l intercept means the distance the internal distances between the parallel lines that is k to l and l to m so this line segments are called the intercepts antakanda so antakanda kl is equal to antakanda lm aa reethinalli ಈ ಮೂರು ಪ್ಯಾರಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಭಾವಿಸಿಕೊಳ್ಳೋಣ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಇದ್ರೆ ಥೀರಮ್ ಹೇಳುತ್ತೆ ಇನ್ ಎಲ್ಲೇ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ವರ್ಸೆಲ್ ಅನ್ನು ನಾವು ಎಳಿಬಹುದು ಸೆ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ವಿ ಡ್ರಾ ಅನದರ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ವರ್ಸೆಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಟಿಂಗ್ ದೆಮ್ ಅಟ್ ಪಿ ಕ್ಯೂ ಅಂಡ್ ಆರ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಶೋ ದಟ್ ದ ಇಂಟರ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಪಿ ಕ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಇಂಟರ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಆರ್ so the line segment pq is equal to qr so this is what we wanted to prove so these parallel lines are in such a way that the intercept kl is equal to lm in such being the case if you draw a transversal anywhere okay in any at any position then the corresponding intercepts are also equal this is what the theorem means telling us okay now we now to prove this what might be the construction friends can you tell me what is the construction yes the construction is this we have to draw st a line like this st another transversal parallel to gh okay parallel to gh through this point q so we have to draw this line transversal st parallel to this first transversal gh through this point q this is the uh, construction friends okay now observe carefully oh, what well, we do you observe any parallelograms here friends by which we can show this okay now proof by definition of a parallelogram we have k l q s and l m t q are parallelograms observe carefully k l q s 
This one is a parallelogram. Do you know? It's because KL is parallel to SQ by construction and this line segment KS is parallel to this LQ. We have two pairs of opposite sides are parallel. Therefore, K, L, Q, S is a parallelogram. For the same reasons, L, M, T, Q is also a parallelogram. Here also two pairs of opposite sides are parallel. Therefore, by definition of a parallelogram, we have two parallelograms here. Once they became parallelogram, you know in a parallelogram, the opposite sides are equal. So that is KL is equal to SQ and LM is equal to QT. So we will write down that. So KL is equal to SQ and LM is equal to QT. So observe the left hand side friends. So the left hand sides of the two equations are KL and LM and you know that it is given in data that intercept KL is equal to intercept LM. Therefore SQ and QT are equal to the same segments which are equal in length. Therefore the right hand sides must be equal on account of axiom number one. See how axioms are so important. This is in ninth standard only. So we have to take lot of care in teaching definitions, axioms and postulate. So now we have this SQ, look at the segment SQ and QT. So these two segments are equal because of the parallelograms and because of data. Okay, what next friends? So observe these two triangles. We have got this SQ and QT are equal. Don't you think these two are vertically opposite angles? And if you consider this line segment XYS transverse cell, this angle and this angle are alternate angles. So these two triangles are congruent because of ASA criterion. So this is the second and the final part. So now compare triangle PQS and triangle RQT, the sides and angles of these two triangles. We need only three elements. So angle PQS is equal to angle RQT. That is these two angles are equal because they are vertically opposite angles. And the second point is SQ. This one is equal to QT because see here we have proved it in the very first stage itself. The third and the last point is angle QPS. QPS means this is equal to QRT means this. So these two angles are equal because they are also alternate angles. So we have the, the two triangles. They are congruent because of ASA. Friends, congruent means identical in all aspects. That is sides and angles, the corresponding part, the remaining corresponding part of these two triangles are equal only. So we wanted to show that PQ is equal to QR and definitely they are equal because they are the corresponding parts of congruent triangles. So hence proved friends. See, so beautifully we have proved this intercept theorem. So first we have to prove that with the help of the two parallelograms that SQ and QT are equal. That is the first part. In the second stage, we are going to use the ASA criterion and with the help of that, we show that the intercept made by any other transfer cell are equal. Having proved this, it is really worth to consider the converse of this intercept theorem. Here we go. So converse of intercept theorem, okay. If three or more straight lines make equal intercepts with the transfer cells, then the intercept, then the straight lines are parallel. If three or more straight lines make equal intercepts with many transfer cells, then definitely those straight lines are parallel. Do you think that uh, 
the converse is true always friends can you say that it is true always i think the figure will help us to understand now okay here is one straight line here is another straight line this is the third one look carefully the intercepts made by one transversal they are equal another intercept another transversal and these are the intercepts made by them one more transversal here also the intercepts are equal so just because the intercepts are equal can you say that the lines are parallel always no therefore the converse of the intercepts theorem is not true always so if you are trying to apply the converse of this theorem please be very 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 careful so please be very careful while applying the converse of intercept theorem okay friends thanks for watching uh, video uh, number 3 so uh, namaste namaste friends namaste